is a revise with me video on sequences, mainly with the nth term. So, here are five, the first five terms in a number sequence. So, this is the first term, this is the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Now, they've asked us to find the tenth term, so I want the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. As we can see, it's going up in threes. So each time they add in three. So to find the tenth one, I could just carry on going up to ten. It wouldn't take me long. So 19 add three, that's 22. 22 add three, that's 25. 25 add three, that's 28. 28 add three, that's 31 and 31 add 3 is 34. So the tenth term in the sequence is 34. Now, we've got to write an expression in terms of n for the nth term. So this means that I could find any term in the sequence using the nth term. So as I said earlier, it's going up in threes. That means our nth term starts with 3n. Now, if the first term is 7, they would have done 1 times the 3, because it's going up in 3s, which is 3, but they've got 7. So they would do 1 times 3, which is 3, but they've got 7. For the second, they would do 2 times 3, which is 6, but they've got 10. So in each of those cases, they would need to add 4. Another way to think of it is to find the zeroth term. So if n was zero, so that means you would just need to go back. So something plus three is seven, and that is four. So we've got plus four. A number sequence has the nth term six n plus three. We've got to find the first, second, third, and fourth term. So this means I've got to do 6 times 1, and then add 3. Then 6 times the 2, and add 3. 6 times 3, add 3. And 6 times 4, add 3. So I'm replacing each one. 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm replacing n with those numbers. So first one, 6 times 1 is 6. Add 3 gives us 9. Next one, 6 times 2, that's 12, add 3, that's 15. We should notice that it's going up in 6s because we've started with 6n. So if I added 6 to 15, I get 21. And if I added 6 to 21, I get 27. We can check by doing 6 times 4, 24, add a 3, 27. Right, Sarah says that 1008 is a term in the sequence. Explain why she's wrong. So they're saying, is, no, it's not in the sequence. Now, it's only going up in sixes, so it would take us a very long time to go up to 1008. So I've chosen that number on purpose because it would take you ages. So to find if a number's in a sequence, we take the nth term and we make it equal that number that they're trying to say is in the sequence. Now we solve the equation. If we come out with a decimal, we can say that the number's not in the sequence. If we come out with a whole number, we can say the number is in the sequence. So to solve this equation, we're first going to get rid of the 3 by taking it away, because we do the opposite of plus 3. So we're going to take away 3, and we're left with 6. n is 1005. So to see if n is going to be a decimal or a whole number, we need to divide by 6 now. So we're going to do n is 1005 divided by 6. So take a little time and do the bus stop method now, so you'll probably soon end up with a decimal. So 1005, how many 6s go into 1? 0, carry my 1. How many 6s go into 10? 1, with 4 remaining. How many sixes go into 40? Well, six sixes are 36, so it'd be six remainder four. 
How many sixes go into 45? Well, six sevens are 42. So that would be a remainder of three. So this is our decimal now. How many sixes go into 30? Five. So as we can see, it's going to be 167.5. Therefore, she is wrong. So a sequence of numbers is shown below. Find an expression for the nth term of the sequence. So 1 to 5, we add 4. From 5 to 9, we add 4. From 9 to 13, we add 4. So it's going up in 4, so it's 4n. To find out what you need to add or subtract next, we can find the zeroth term. So something, add 4, gives us 1. So if you need, all you need to do is do 1, take away 4, which is minus 3. So it's going to be 4n minus 3. Explain why 95 will not be a term in this sequence. Again, we take our nth term and we make it equal 95. So I've got to solve my equation to find n. And if it gives us a decimal, the number is not in the sequence. If it gives us a whole number, the number is in the sequence. So we first need to add 3 to get rid of the 3. So we've got 4n is 98. Now we need to do 98 divided by 4. So again, bus stop method, we got 4 into 98. How many 4s go into 9? 2 with 1 left over. How many 4s go into 18? Well, it would only be 4, because 4 4s four are 16. So 16 up to 18, that's a remainder of 2. And how many 4s go into 20? Well, it's 5. And decimals move straight up, OK? So n is 24.5. So therefore, it's not in the sequence. nth term of a number sequence is given by 5n plus 2. We've got to work out the first three terms. So with 5n plus 2, we've got to do 5 times 1 plus 2, 5 times 2 plus 2, and 5 times 3 plus 2. So for the first term, we replace n with 1. So 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Next one, we replace n with 2. 5 times 2 is plus 2, so 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, you can see it's going up in 5s because it's 5n, and the third one we replace n with 3, 5 times 3 is 15, add 2 gives us 17. Use the first five terms of another number sequence, find an expression for n for the nth term. So from 5 to 11, that's adding 6. From 11 to 17, add in 6, so we know it goes up in 6n. So go back one to find the zeroth term. So something plus 6 is 5. So what you need to do is 5, take away 6, which is minus 1. So we've got 6n minus 1. A sequence of numbers is shown. Find an expression for the nth term of the sequence. So find out where it's going up in. From 2 to 9 is adding 7. From 9 to 16, adding 7. So it starts with 7n. Go back one. So we're going to take 7 take from 2. So something plus 7 is 2. So that's minus 5. So it's 7n minus 5. Five. Find the hundredth term of the sequence. So we've replaced n with a hundred. So we're going to do seven times a hundred and then take away five. So seven times a hundred is seven hundred. So we've got seven hundred take away five, which is six hundred and ninety five. The nth term of a number sequence is n squared plus 3. So the first 
three terms, we gotta find the first three terms in the sequence. So we gotta do one squared plus three, then two squared plus three, and then three squared plus three. So one squared means one times one. So one times one is one, plus three plus four. Two squared means two times two. So two times two is four, plus three, that's seven. Three squared means three times three. So three times three is nine. Nine plus three is 12. We gotta work out the difference between the fifth and the 10th term in the sequence. So the fifth term is gonna be five squared plus three. So five squared means five times five. Five times five is 25. Add three is 28. The 10th term is going to be 10 squared plus 3. So 10 squared means 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. Add 3 is 103. All we need to do is take those away now. So we've got 103. Take away 28. So we're going to need to borrow for this one. And we're going to need to borrow all the way from the 1. So that becomes nothing. This then will become 10, but we need to borrow from that to make 9, and this becomes 13. So 13 take away 8 is 5, and 9 take away 2 is 7, so the difference is 75. The first five terms in a number sequence are 10, 7, 4, 1, minus 2 we've got to work out the nth term of the sequence. So this time it's going down. So this time we're taking away three, taking away three, taking away three. So we know it's going to be minus three n. Then go back one. So something, take away three is 10. So it's going to be 13. So it's minus three n plus 13. You might see these wrote wrote. We well, might see these written the other way around. So 13 plus, not plus, minus. 13 minus 3n and they mean exactly the same thing. Okay. Right, so find the 50th term of the sequence. So we would do replace 50 with n. So we've got 13 minus 3 times 50. So we've got 13, 3 times 50 is 150. So we've got 13, take away 150, gives us minus 137. Work out the nth term of this sequence. So we're adding 10, adding 10, adding 10. So we know it's 10n. Go back one, so something. Add 10 is 12, so that's going to be 2. So it's plus 2. The nth term of a sequence is 3n minus 2. Write down the first two terms of the sequence. So the first term, we replace 1 and 2 with n. So we're going to do 3 times the 1 and then take away 2. And for the second term, we're going to do 3 times the 2, take away 2. So this is where n would be. So 3 times 1 is 3. Take away 2, that's 1. For the second term, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 take away 2 is 4. Which term of the sequence is equal to 70? So this time we've got to go 3n minus 2 equals 70. So we need to first add the 2. So we've got 3n is 72. Now we need to divide, so we need to do 72 divided by 3, if you want to use the bus stop method. We've got 3 into 72. How many 3's go into 7? 2. Remainder 1. How many 3's go into 12? 
24. So that's going to be the 24th term. You can check that by doing 3 times 24 and then take away 2 and you should end up with 70. Um, explain why 101 is not a term in the sequence. Just like the top one, we're going to put it equal to 101. So 3n minus 2 equals 101. First, going to add the 2. So 3n is 103. Use your bus stop method to see if 3 goes into 100. And three. So how many threes go into one? Zero. Carry my one. How many threes go into ten? Three. Remainder one. How many threes go into thirteen? Four. Remainder one. So this is where our decimal kicks in. How many threes into ten? Going to be three. Remainder one. And that will carry on going. So n would be 34.33 and it would recur because you would carry on getting 10. So therefore, it's not in the sequence. Here are the nth terms of four sequences. So we've got the first one is 3n plus 1, second 5n plus 10, next 10n, next 5n minus 1 each sequence state whether the numbers are in the sequence for each sequence state whether the numbers in the sequence are a always multiples of 5 s sometimes multiples of 5 or never multiples of 5 so we're gonna have to work out the first couple of terms so we've got four marks so for 3n minus 1 it's gonna go up in threes so you're not going to always have multiples of 5. Um, so we'll do 3n plus 1 first. So for the first term, you've got 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 1 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7, and then it's going to go up in 3. So you've got 10, 13, 16, 19. don't think you've probably got a multiple of 5 here. So that's going to be an S, so it's not always multiples of 5. So the first one is an S. The next one, 5n plus 10. So 5 times 1 is 5, plus 10 is 15. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 10 is 20. Then it goes up in 5, so 25, 30. Well, those are all multiples always going to be multiples of 5 if they keep adding 5 to that. So that's going to be an A for always multiples of 5. Um, 10N. So we've got 10N. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 2, 20. 10 times 3, 30. Keeps adding 10. They're always going to be multiples of 5. They're always in the 5 times table. Um, 5N minus 1. So 5N minus 1. So 5 times 1 is 5, take away 1 is 4, 5 times 2 is 10, take away 1 is 9, 5 times 3 is 15, take away 1 is 14, and it's going to keep adding 5 then, so there's not ever going to be a multiple of 5 in that, because it's just going to go 4, 9, 4, 9, 4, 9, the end numbers, so that's going to be an N, for never multiple. The nth term of a sequence is 5 minus 3n. Write down the first three terms. So we're going to replace n with 1, 2, and 3. So we've got 5 minus 3 times 1, 5 minus 3 times 2, and 5 minus 3 times 3. So 5 minus 3 times 1, so 3 times 1 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 minus 3 times 2, well 3 times 2 is 6, 5 minus 6 is minus 1, we should end up with it going down in 3's. 5 minus 3 times 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 5 minus 9 is minus 4. The nth term of a sequence is 4n minus 7. Write down the first three terms of the sequence. So again we're replacing 1, 2 and 3 with n. So we're doing 4 times the 1 minus 7. 4 times the 2 minus 7 and 4 times the 3 
minus the 7. So 4 times 1 is 4, minus 7 is minus 3. 4 times 2 is 8, minus the 7 is 1. 4 3s are 12, minus 7, that's 5. What is the difference between the 150th term and the 151st term? I don't even need to work that out, that's just going to be 4 because they've gone up in 4s. Because they're 1 after the other 150 and 151. Uh, the last term in the sequence is 393. How many terms are there in this sequence? So we've got to get the sequence, set 4n minus 7. And make it equal 393. So we're first going to add our 7. So we've got 4n is 400. And then divide by 4, so it's 100. So there's going to be 100 terms in the sequence. So find the nth term of the sequences. So this one. Without even looking, it's going to go up in different numbers because these are all square numbers. So you've got 1 to 4 is adding 3. 4 to 9 is adding 5. 9 to 16 is adding 7. So each one of these is a different number. But can you see the difference between 3 and 5 is 2. The difference between 3 and 7 is also 2. So this one is going to have an n squared in it. So because our square numbers, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, those are just the square numbers. So this, uh, this nth term is just going to be n squared. This one, difference between 3 and 6, you add in 3. This one, we're adding 5. This one, add in 7. Again, difference between 3 and 5, add in 2. Add in 2. So we know our square numbers are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So it's going to be n squared, but each time, so from 1 to 3 is plus 2. From 4 to 6, you're adding 2. From 9 to 11, you're adding 2. So it's going to be n squared plus 2. Next one, we're going up from minus 3 to 0 is adding 3. 0 to 5, add in 5. 5 to 12, add in 7. 3 to 5, add 2. 5 to 7, add 2. So if you write your square numbers above it, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, we can see it's going to be n squared because we're going 2. So the difference between 1 and 3 is 4. Difference between 4 and 0 is 4, 9 and 5, 4, 16 and 12, 4, 25 and 21, 4. However, this number is bigger, so we've, each time you have to take away 4. Because 1 take away 4 is minus 3, 4 take away 4 is 0. Right, next one. So from 2 to 8, we add in 6, from 8 to 10, uh, from 8 to 18, you add in 10. From 18 to 32, you add in 14. So this one is going up in 4s. When it's going up in 4s, it's going to be 2n squared. So we want to square our number and then add it. So our, we know our square numbers is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. If we times all those by 2, 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, 9 times 2 is 18, and we end up with our no, same sequence. So the nth term is going to be 2n squared. Okay, last one. The first five terms in the number sequence are 30, 25, 20, 15, and 10. Work out the nth term of the sequence. So from 30 to 25, take away 5. 25 to 20, taking away 5. So this is a normal sequence. 
take away 5, take away 5, so we know it's going to be minus 5n. We go back one, something, take away 5 is 30, so we know that's going to be plus 35. Again, you can write it as 35, take away 5n. It doesn't matter which way you write that, either one is correct.